So how do you install WeatherJack files? Pretty easy. Install from disk. When you install, so so when you come to my Discord, right? Go down to download. If you want the framework, click download framework. Save. And these are save files, I can assure you that. These are Wabberjack files. I I think that's just the best way of explaining it. That thing's done, so I'll go into that in a bit. Uh, so now the question is, how does Wabberjack files work? Pretty easy. So you double click that. Let's go into mod installation. Let's go into games. Let's go new folder. Let's call this mod punk 2077 framework. Right. This is a this is a thing that you can fork to be your own mod list and you can make it however you wish, okay? Very, very, very simple. And what you want to do, it will have its own downloads folder. It's it sorts that out. And then what you want to do, click press uh, press play. And now as you can see, it's downloading all of the files necessary. 281. Once that's downloaded, I'm I'm going to show you the the whole process of of this as well. So it, it's it's pretty it's pretty simple. But again, make sure that it's vanilla sky uh, cyberpunk. Yeah, I nearly said Skyrim, vanilla cyberpunk. Make sure you don't have any mods in that folder whatsoever. Make sure it's a proper clean file. Uh, folder right is unable to download one or more archives what you can do what you can do is this right copy these copy these files and put these in downloads Okay, so what I'll have to do, I'll have to, um, I'll have to link the Porsche Spider. I'll do, I'll do a tutorial. Basically, you just need those files, and you just basically drag and drop them into downloads, and it should literally, um, it, it should still be fine to basically install, right? As you can see, we had a bit of an issue there. But um, things like that can happen for no actual reason. Things like that can actually happen for no actual reason. So just bear that in mind. All right. So some of these will take a bit to install, especially the 4K stuff. 4K stuff tends to usually take up quite a bit to download. And as you can see, there we go. Finished installing right so now you're probably going to be like okay uh, now what now what you want to do is you want to come to mod organizer you want to open up mod organizer from here and what do we have here we have the full blown mod list all here and again we might not have clothing Yeah, we do. Again, we might have the conflicts or whatever, but it all works the way it should, right? Now, the question is, does it run? Let's run Cyberpunk. Let's make sure it does actually run Cyberpunk the way it should. To be on the safe side. It will do this, by the way, because we are running a red mod, as you can see, Night City Alive, standard. So we just got to wait for that now. Oh. 
Um, but yeah, uh, so like I said, if you're struggling to run the list or if you're struggling to install the files or whatever, like I said, I'm going to have a link. Um, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to have a link in the description below where to find the mod, mod organizer, the root builder, um, what's the other one? Oh, and the the car, right? Okay, so it will say this. I usually recommend doing F11. And look at that. It boots. So guess what, guys? Successful installation of Cyberpunk, at least for me. Don't forget, I do have the files, so if you do have problems, come into the Discord, go into the support, and I will try and help you the best I can. That's just, you know, it's just the way things are. Um, but like I said, it's a very small mod list. Uh, th there is the other one. It's the light version. And uh, you can come in here, you can basically modify this the way you wish. Um, I'm probably going to actually add one other mod. And then I'll probably upload both the files as well and uh, make sure I get them done. Uh, right, so for the for the files, okay. For the files. Um, so root builder. Root builder is easy. You go to the GitHub. And um, you download this file here. So I'm going to make sure to, uh, to do that. The same as Mod Organizer. Mod Organizer is very, very easy as well. Mod Organizer 2. GitHub. I'll post these in, I'll post these here as well. So there's one, there's two. And then we've got the, uh, hold on, vehicles, vehicles, vehicles over here. I need to find this Porsche, Porsche Spider visit on next. Oh, I actually have to remove it. I have to remove it. Yeah, I'm going to have to remove it. I didn't realize you guys can't. Um, okay. So when that happens, yeah. Oh, that's the other mod list. Anyway, that's basically the tutorial on how to get this mod list working. Hopefully you have found these. Hopefully you have found this tutorial um, helpful. And um, like I said, you can always come into the sh live streams. I'm always live streaming. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. And again, thank you for tuning in. Um, leave a like if it, help, if it helped. Also, make sure... It, also, you can reach out to me in the comments as well. But Discord is just a bit easier because there, there will be support. I'm looking to be a bit more um, active in the Discord. So, meet me there. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy and peace out. See you guys in the next one.